So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create push notifications for affiliate products so that you can be able to promote affiliate products to your audience straight to the mobile phones. Now this works really, really well because push notifications pretty much act like any other notifications, okay? So once you have it set it up, your audience can be able to receive these messages. They can be able to click on those messages. They go to the sales page of the affiliate product that you're promoting. And if they happen to buy from there, you will get a commission. It's a very simple concept, but works really, really well and very effective. And that is what I'm going to be showing you today in this video. So the first thing that you want to do is to look for a product to promote. Okay, so it can be any product and you can join any network. I'm going to join ClickBank for this case. You can join Digital24. You can promote from Digital24. And this also works well with CPA marketing. So you can join any CPA network as well. Okay, so I'm going to go to the category section. And I want to promote one from the e-business and e-marketing niche. Okay, so I'm going to go with affiliate marketing. Okay, so we have this one called whiteappreviews.com. Okay, this is a product that's doing very, very well on ClickBank. As you can see, it has a gravity of 82. And this would work well with our push notification setup. Okay, so if we just go to the sales page, let me click on this. So as you can see, it's a product that allows people to test apps on uh, tablets and mobile. Okay, and they're paying 25 to 35 dollars an hour. And this is what we're going to be promoting with our push notification setup. Okay, let's come back over to ClickBank. Let's have a look at the affiliate page. All right, so this is what we are looking for. Okay, we, we just wanted to confirm if this uh, product, you know, has support for affiliates. So it has upsells, flow, hoplic generators, um, email swipes and banners product images so these two are what we're going to use a lot in this setup they have videos as well short ads all right so now now that we know what we want to promote we're now going to start setting up our push notifications campaign okay so one place to do that is this website called propeller ads okay so it's called propellerads.com now at first it won't take you to this page this is because i've already signed up i've just signed up to propellerads.com with a different account but what you want to do is to create an account for yourself using an advertiser account okay there are usually two accounts there's an advertiser account and there's a publisher account so since you want to advertise you want to set up with an advertiser campaign all right now once you have done that you have this quick setup guide you can check this out just to see exactly how to set up this uh, propeller ads campaign you also have this over here so this is just tutorials to show you how to get started with this platform but you don't need to do that I'll, I'll show you exactly how you need to set this up so first thing that you're going to do you're going to come over here you're going to click on uh, how to add funds okay so you're going to be able to add funds because this is actually a paid ads guys okay this is this will be a paid ads but it won't be expensive as the normal ads campaign for google or bing or facebook all right so you can deposit as little as 50 dollars just for a start okay so once you're done with that, you're going to click on uh, create a new campaign. So you can click on this or just click on this. All right. So now here's where we're going to set up our campaign. Okay. So first we're going to give it a name. So we're going to call this um, the, the name of the product, which is, uh, let's come back over here. It's called White Up Reviews. All right. So White Up Reviews. And then we have advertising format. Okay. So we have on click. This is pop under and direct click. Then you have push notifications. This one will create a notification with a catchy offer and a vivid banner image. And then this is interstitial, non full screen banner overlaying content. Now, this is the one that we want because this is going to show a clear uh, banner image which we're going to set up. And it's actually a push notification that we require. Okay. So we're going to click on this. Once you have that set up, you're going to come over here to push notifications type. Now, there are two of these here. We have the classic push. This one is the traditional web push on the mobile and desktop devices. So this is the one that we want. So we're going to uncheck this one because this is for in-page push. Now, you want to uncheck this one because it's going to cost you more if you have both of these uh, set up. Okay, so what you really want is a traditional web push on mobile and desktop devices. So just leave this unchecked. Then you're going to scroll down here. And then we have pricing model. So here we have CPA Gold, we have CPC, we have CPM. So you're going to choose CPC and what this simply means is cost per click which is going to charge you for every time your user clicks on your notification. This usually works the best especially for CPA ads okay so you always want to leave CPC on. Once you're done with that you're going to scroll to target URL. So here's where we're going to paste our affiliate link. So we're going to come back over here to Clickbank. We're going to click on promote, generate hop links, come back to propeller ads and then just paste our tracking link. All right. 
So once you're done with that, you're going to scroll down here, your frequency uh, capping by clicks. So this one says one visitor will click on each creative. So you want to leave this one times per 24 hours. Okay. This simply means your visitor is going to see this ad just once in every 24 hours. Okay. You can mess around with this uh, later on, but for now, just leave it at one times per 24 hours. And then just scroll down here we have traffic options so you have propeller ads and broker's traffic so this is for third party you don't want this just leave this uh, for propeller ads then just scroll down continue you have the user activity and this one says here target users based on their activity level so we have high medium and low so you want the optimal performance okay you want you want to leave both high and medium because here high says uh, it has a high a CTR it has a low volume and the price is above average here on medium you have you know average CTR volume is average and price is average so uh, you want to uncheck this okay this is from experience you just want to uncheck this because I found these two working uh, the most effective you might also want to play around with these ones later on but for now you can just leave it at high and medium and then once you're done with that you're going to scroll down here so you have countries and bid is where now you set the countries that you want to target so typically you want to you want to set united states okay so i'm just going to scroll down to the bottom they should be here okay united states now again since you're beginning you just want to start with one country later on you can add more countries maybe if you uh you want to increase your budget or if you have a higher budget you can set up more countries i recommend setting up you know the first world countries like united states you have united kingdom you have australia you have the european countries as well and as you can see here you have your cpc is 13 cents and it's basically cost per click so it's going to cost you 13 cents for every time a user clicks on your push notification okay and then scroll down here you can also target you know states if you want to include states as well but just uh, it's not really necessary just leave it at cities okay so just keep scrolling just ignore the smart optimization tools uh, come down to advertising budget okay so here is where we're going to set our ad budget so again just like um google ads and bing ads you can just start with ten dollars average ten dollars you can even start with five dollars if you want but i usually start my ads with ten dollars just to test it out to see how it's going to go so also for you i recommend starting with ten dollars so it's going to basically cost you ten dollars every single day okay and then you have your total budget campaign so I would put this at $50, between $30 to $50, okay? So this simply means uh, once you've exhausted your $50, uh, $50 uh, ad campaign budget, it's going to stop the ads. So again, you can just play around with this. It just depends on your budget, okay? I'm just doing this just an example on the lower side, all right? So we're going to continue. Let's scroll down here to targeting. So here at platform, you have two, you have desktop and mobile. So mobile is most effective because most people are on their mobile phones. Most adverts are seen on their mobile phones. And through my testing, I've seen that mobile phones is the most effective. So I just leave it at mobile and then scroll down here. You have OS. You're going to select Android because this is the most popular one. And then just scroll down. Just ignore all this. You don't really need to set up anything else here. Okay, just scroll down you have collect an audience for retargeting now what this pretty much does is that it it's going to collect uh leads uh, kind of like leads to to be able to retarget your audience okay you don't really collect like their email address or anything like that it's just going to retarget them based on their ip address and this is going to usually cost you much so uh, I, for now i just recommend leaving it at uh, do not collect this is more of people who have more experience uh those ones also have a bigger budget so just leave it at this then scroll down here you have put push notifications again here and push notifications you have creative one title now this is where our you know affiliate sales page comes in handy okay the one that we opened earlier so we're going to come back to our affiliate sales page all right so here we're going to look at banners we have banners and we have product images okay so you can open either one of these so let's just open the banners Right, so here we have them. We have the high converting banners here. So they have different sets. You have the first uh, package here. You have the second package. You have the third package and so on. So you can just download any of these packages. Let me go. I can download the fourth one. Let me download the fourth banner. Okay, come back over here and also download this as well. Okay, so I'm just going to download those two for now. Now I'm going to come back over here to propeller ads. So we have... Uh, our creative title here so here we want to add something that's catchy okay we want to uh give them something that's going to get their attention something that's going to make them want to click okay 
So let's come back to the affiliates page. Uh, let's look at the short ads. Okay, here there are some uh, some titles that you can use. So you have eight hundred dollars per week for trying out filters on Snapchat. Okay, this looks really really good. We have a filter link over there. Okay, if you want more, you can just click on this drop down. You have thirty dollars per a photo you take. Okay, five dollars per whatsapp message okay so there are all different kinds of offers that you can find here okay we can use this ones as our title all right so let's just go with this for uh, the first one up here okay eight hundred dollars per week now the only problem is that you might need to uh, uh, look out for the number of uh, wordings because if you come over here you see it has 30 uh, limit you're limited to 30 characters okay so we're going to have to see how many characters this is i think it's going to be excess but let's just see Let's paste it there okay as you can see we have exceeded by 14 so we can say uh, maybe you can omit some text here maybe 800 dollars per week for using snapchat filters let's see if that's going to work okay so maybe you can leave it this way 800 dollars per week for using snapchat now the good thing about this is that it has a description here so you can further explain what this is going to do so here now you can say So just want to keep it simple because I think that's what they want. They just want simplicity because these are just notifications. Notifications don't really carry much information. So you really want to keep it uh, very short. All right. And then once you're done with that, now we can place our images. Now you have different uh, dimensions uh, that you can use here. We have 192 by 192. We have 360 by 240. So these are just different dimensions. Uh, this one is, of course, bigger than this one. So it just depends on the images that you have. So I'm going to start with this one here click on upload image so here we have the different images just uh, look at the dimensions here this one says 970 by 240 it's more of a horizontal image if i can just see uh, let, me, let me push this up here so this one requires a 192 by 192 okay so i'm going to look for something as close this one is big um 192 so maybe something like this one here or even this one here all right so i'm going to click on open so here you can even move it further just to make sure it uh, uh, f uh, shows the text that you want it to show. You can't really crop it, okay? You can't really uh, crop it excess. You can only reduce the size. So I think this is going to be okay. I'm going to click on crop image. Okay, so this is how it's going to show. So next we have this larger image. This one is a 360 by 240. But as you can see, it says here we recommend 720 by 480 to make images look best for users with retina displays. Okay, so we can also look for 720 or a 480. So we're going to click on upload image. So I'm not really seeing a 720 by 480 here. So this is where most of those banners that you need to download are going to come in handy. Okay, I've just downloaded a few. So I'm just going to use these ones here as an example. But you want to uh, really download all the banners that they've shown you on the affiliate sales page. Okay. Let me go with this one here. Okay. I'm just going to make this fit the way I want it. Okay. So maybe like that. Click on crop image. All right. So now we're pretty much done with our ad setup. Okay. We have our image here. We have everything all set up here. So you just want to go through your entire ad. Just see if everything is okay. So once you're happy with your ad, once you show you everything's okay, you're going to scroll down here. You don't really need to add anything else here. You don't really need to uh, continue with any editing then once you're done with everything you want to read this small information here so here it says before the campaign is started it will be sent for review it takes about 24 hours okay so just keep that in mind and then here you uh, it says you will be additionally charged up to a dollar for traffic spent and optimizing each creative by cpm all right so if you're okay with all this here yeah, if everything's okay with you you're just going to click on start campaign and then you'll be good to go Okay, now do remember that you have other ads as well that you can run here on ClickBank because this is a very effective method, guys, because it is basically sending notifications to your audience on the mobile phone. Okay, so whether they are doing, you know, weight loss, so whether they are doing relationships, whether they are doing online job notifications like the one that we've just done here, whether they are doing make money online, whatever niche it is, guys, this is going to work really, really well. Right? So... That's going to do it for this video. Do give it a try and all the best. Thanks again for watching. Smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And I will see you in the next one.